welcome to the Sunday Times EFG Short Story Award and uh, welcome to this very special one-off event. This year we had over 1,000 entries for the award uh, and all of this is possible only because of the immense generosity of EFG. Let's begin. First, let me try and explain. It's like falling into deep, deep water. A sudden plunge that knocks your breath away. My suitcase was ugly and I was trying to carry it with a degree of irony. <laughs> when Nathan saw me, he asked, what is that? A joke suitcase? <laughs> For it was on a Saturday in November 1926 in the Orangery Restaurant of Palermo Park that Borges lost his fiancée, Nora Langa, to another man. Casey prefers the running desk to the standing. Alice tour guide explained with a satisfied laugh that she understood she was meant to mimic. <laughs> Let people fight over him at an auction. And you didn't pay that man no money for buttons, she said. That just the story we gave Mama. Thank you, chirped Marie. And when she didn't hear his boots moving away, she sighed and checked her pockets for cash. One second. His face was flushed and his shoulders pink. I got most of it, I think. You've all written novels. You'll all understand the difference between writing a novel and writing a short story. And I presume you'll all tell me that they are very different crafts. I think it's harder to write a great short story. I, I think it's nearly impossible. I'm never more aware of the areas in which I'm a terrible, irresponsible writer than in a short story. One of the differences that strikes me, I think, is that in the short story, because you know up front that it's going to be short, so there's a little agreement with the reader, which is that I'm not going to tell you everything. I'm mm. only going to tell you a little slice of it. You can hide depths in a way that's so, it's so tantalizing as a writer to be able to do that, pack all these depths into short paragraphs. I think some of you have been very strong in saying about loving your characters. Part of you is always going to be in your characters, no matter how different their characters' lives might appear. The process of writing for me is figuring out who these characters are, and not just the ways that they're similar to me, but the way they're not. Why don't more people read and love stories the way that we do? Stories are far, far harder to read than novels. They are six wonderful short stories, ladies and gentlemen. Please, can you just put your hands together to say thank you for these six? Thank you. 